Hello, my name's Jonathan, and today I'm going to show you two things. The first one's simple, you might already know it, but the second one sounds like it should be impossible, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to show you how to fold a perfect square out of a piece of paper like this. But the second thing is, I'm going to show you how to fold a perfect five-sided pentagon. Yep, it can be done. But let's do the square first. Make sure you know this. You only need two folds to fold a square, which is rather handy. The first one, I'm going to fold a diagonal coming down here. So it's got to come from that corner. I'm going to put my thumbnail exactly on there to make sure it folds up exactly from that corner. Then that goes up to there. And then this has to be exactly in line. The two edges have to be exactly in line straight from that corner. Fold that there. Okay, it's worth doing this as accurately as you can because the better you do it, the better your pentagon is going to be. Woohoo! Like that goes there, that goes there. Okay, so that's the first diagonal of the square. That's folded from there over to there. Now, what we need to do now is fold along that line there. Now, this can be a little bit tricky, so I've got a little tip for you. What you need is a nice big book, and I happen to have <laughs> this book. Have you got this book as well? That would be nice if you have. Let me just put that one there. When you've got a nice book with a sharp edge like that, it's brilliant for helping you to fold things because I'm going to put that corner there and I want to fold to where that corner goes down to there. So just line those up as perfectly as I possibly can. That goes there, that goes there. And then I'm just going to whiz my fingers along. That's a nice sharp edge on that book. That has now marked the edge of the square. I could fold it over, but actually I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to cut it out extremely quickly. Hey! There we are. Don't need that bit. And we have a perfect square. What we need to do now to make the pentagon is I fold that corner over there because I need both diagonals of this square marking and I also need the exact centre. Now with a square, as you probably know, each angle, each corner is 90 degrees. But with a pentagon, each corner has to be 108 degrees. So how do I fold 108 degrees accurately? Here's the trick. That middle point, I'm going to mark it with a great big blob there like that so you can see it. And I'm going to even put an arrow so you can see where that blob is. This corner has to go up there and sit on that blob. Let me just colour that corner in so you can see what I'm doing. OK, can you see that corner? That corner sits exactly on that blob and then I fold that line across there I now need to do two folds one of them goes from there to there and this is where the book comes in handy I'm going to turn this over it's got to go from there to there as this fold so I'll line those up with the corners of my book like that pinch that along there And that's the fold neatly done. All I've got to do is just finish it off, turn it over, and that should be that one. Same thing on the other side. We go fold from that little corner down there to that pointy end up there. So I'll get those exactly in line with the edge of the book. There we are. Once it's in place, we can just go like that. Again, we fold that one over just to neatly finish it off. People doing this quite often complain to me they got it wrong these two bits must overlap some people try and make them meet in the middle that's not right they must overlap now once they've done that what you're looking for now is when we first folded the diagonals there was a teeny weeny you can't really see it there is a fold there but I'm going to mark it with the pencil so you can see it that is the fold of one of the diagonals this corner now comes up to the top so if I put him up to there like that and he goes exactly onto the top there and I fold that one down Ta -da! have a little look can you see that he's gone right to the exact top and suddenly two more folds and this is so good I'm going to fold this up so it lies along there watch it just goes like that to there I've got my finger down here to make sure it folds in exactly the right place that goes to there <laughs> And I do the same thing on the other side here. I've got to fold this bit up so that this edge lies along there. Okay, so put your finger there exactly to hold it in place. 
he goes up to there, he goes up to there, and be honest, that's pretty good, isn't it? Each angle is exactly 108 degrees. Rubbish! There's no way those angles are all exactly 108. What? <laughs> Admit it! How dare you! Are you seriously accusing me of lying? <laughs> Well, actually, this is just a little bit awkward as it happens because these angles aren't exactly 108 degrees, but they are less than a degree out. They're less than one degree out. If you don't believe me, I can show you the maths, okay? You want to see the maths? Want to check for yourself? Okay, I'll bring it on here. You can pause and you can stare at it all day long. Here it comes. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that? I mean, secretly, I do like that. I only just about understand it, but I do like it. But in the meantime, if you're sitting there with a square piece of paper or maybe a table napkin you're out with some friends, the truth is, if you can fold a pentagon, they're going to be pretty impressed. They're not going to care about that one degree too many or one degree less, OK? It's a good, fun thing to be able to do. OK, thanks for watching. Take care and have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>